Hey, what's going on everyone? In this quick video, I'm just going to be giving a rundown of NordVPN for the use of torrenting. So in this video, I'll be doing a speed test comparison with NordVPN being connected and one without. And I'll also be doing a comparison on whether or not NordVPN can actually change my personal IP address so I can feel confident downloading torrents. And quickly, just before I get stuck in, if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, I do have a massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. So as you can see guys, I'm over here on my laptop and I currently have our uTorrent open and NordVPN and I'm currently not connected uh, to this VPN uh, whatsoever. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is just my IP address and then I'll go and give you a speed test before I connect to NordVPN just so you can get a clear before and after kind of comparison, see the difference of the IP address and also the speeds as well. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go over to this other tab. And this is just a what is my IP address website. So this will just currently show um, my location, my IP, pretty much all of the information that my internet service provider actually can see. So if I click on this one, okay guys, so right here we have the IP address that I'm currently getting um, for my internet service provider. So I've got 211277469. So I'll just keep that one at the back of my memory and I'll just compare that once I go and change my IP address. But before I do that, I'm going to jump back over to uTorrent and I'm just going to download a free torrentine file which is Ubuntu which you can get um, without any licenses uh, whatsoever. Okay guys, so I've just initiated this torrent download and as you can see, I'm getting speeds of around one megabyte uh, per second. And one thing to take into consideration is that I'm actually located uh, in Australia and we have notoriously slow internet compared to the rest of the world, especially um, Japan, the United Kingdom and the USA. So depending on where you are in the world, this speed test will all be relative um, to your particular uh, location. So as you can see, we're now getting around 1.2 megabytes uh, download per second, which is pretty typical for what I get um, during the day and it's just really slow to be honest. So what I'm going to do now is go and connect to NordVPN in real time and then I'll go and rerun those same tests with the IP address and also these speeds as well. So I've already gone ahead and logged into NordVPN. So I'm just going to go and search for a particular location that I would like to connect to. So in this instance, I want to connect to a server which is as closest to my proximity as possible, as this will result in me getting the fastest speeds that I can possibly get. So I'm just going to go and type in Australia. And then I can click on these three dots. And then I can go between regions and servers. So as I'm located in Melbourne, I want to go and click on that one. And then I'll go and this will go and actually connect me. And this will just take a couple of moments. And once this is highlighted in green, this just notifies me that my entire computer, including all of my browsers, is now connected. So I'll just close this notification. And as you can see guys, once I do that, the kind of torrent restarts to load again. Um, so the speeds have um, dropped quite drastically. But if I just give this a couple uh, more moments, the speeds will start to pick up. So as you can see, we're currently getting um, around 800 um, kilobits download per second. Well, now we're getting closer to one megabyte. And I'll just give this a couple more moments to load just so you guys can see a side-by-side -side comparison of what it's like. So at the moment I'm getting 1.1, 1.2 now and I do find that NordVPN typically does take off around maybe 5 to 20% depending on the time of day that you are using the service but in saying that I have actually found that NordVPN can make your speeds actually faster in some instances as depending on your internet service provider they may have dedicated servers that become quite full quite quickly. So this can result in slower um, download speeds. So if you can actually bypass that and connect to a completely kind of independent server, then sometimes your speeds actually can improve. But as you can see guys, the speeds have dropped off to around 1.1, um, kind of around that area. So it is around a 10% reduction in speeds and everything I download is completely anonymous from my internet service provider. So what I'm going to do 
now is just jump back over to this um, same IP address um, kind of tool. So I'll just go and refresh this and as you can see this was my existing IP address uh, which ends in 6.9. So I'll just go and refresh this one. So as you can see guys as soon as I refresh the browser my IP address has instantly changed. So instead of ending in 6.9, it is now kind of ending in 3.6. So this is a clear indication that NordVPN is easily able to change my IP address and hide all of my downloads and my internet activity from my internet service provider. So there you have it guys, that's my quick overview of NordVPN for torrenting. And from my own experience, I have found them to be a really great provider, especially when it does come to speeds and hiding your identity online. And again, if you are looking to get started with NordVPN, don't forget to check out the massive 70% discount link down below in the video description. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Um, if you'd like to see any other content like this, then please drop your ideas down below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.